What's up guys? Your boy Crazy Black Dude here in the building. And today, today's gonna be a little bit different video. We're talking about the Elgato 4K X. I'm not gonna do an unboxing video. I kinda wanna go over something that a lot of you guys have been probably wondering what the hell's going on with you guys' audio being real choppy, kinda sound like popcorn, uh, popping in your ears, stuttering issues, latency whatsoever. Um, I got the right video for you right here. Tune in, you're in for a treat. Check it out. So the first thing I wanna go over is the fact that um, this capture card is by far the best capture card on the market to date. For an external capture card, that is beyond me, man. I mean, seriously, I was going with the PCIe slot and I'm thinking to myself that that's probably the way to go, right? <clears throat> Wrong. Because when you shut down your PC, your systems, whether, you, whether you're playing on PS5, Xbox Series X, S, anything that has the HDMI output or whatever, it shuts off, right? With the USB-C uh, Type-C, it's going to stay on. So you really don't need to turn on your PC for one. Uh, number two, it's, you can just turn on your, your gaming console if you're still hooked on to your monitor. Um, it's a great purchase. Um, I think it's one of the best, personally. This is my second external capture card. My first one was like the really old, old Elgato HD capture card. Like way back when, like 360 and PS3 days. Boxy, glossy on top. I can't remember which one exactly, but... It was ass. <laughs> um, but this right here, so I'll let you guys see that. All right, the Elgato 4K X. Um, the other one on the market is the 4K Pro, and that's the PCIe slot. Okay. Um, like I said, I usually get those ones. Well, I would recommend them usually, but not this time around. So, yeah, again, this video is a little bit different. All right, so let's get into it. So, it's going to be pretty short. I'm going to tell you guys right now, there's three things you need to do. Number one, make sure you're using the right cables with your setup. And what I mean by that is the cables that come in the box. Beautiful. Number two, make sure, and this is what I did wrong. Troubleshooting was a pain. You have to make sure that your USB-C, there's an end that says, I believe 10 gigabytes on it. Make sure you plug that in to your your PC port. Okay, your PC port. Plug that one in, right? Um, let me see if I can maybe show you guys. I don't want to unplug it. I'm I'm confident it, it will work, but you know, my luck kind of probably wouldn't work. But um, let's see if I can kind of focus this to you guys here. So. See how I have it set up? Make sure that Elgato is going to be on there, okay? Um, that's that's the tips I got for you for step two. And um, to step three, um, honestly, just have fun. Because after that, you shouldn't have any issue. And this was the problem solver for me. So um, again, short, sweet video. Highly recommend this capture card. I love it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, please drop them in this video and give me a thumbs up. Hope this guy, you hope this helps you guys. Uh, this is 2024. We are September 2nd. Just to give you guys a, a reference date of when this video was, was good, when it was released. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, hit me up. All right, Crazy Black Dude sending out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.